nearly 7.5 million commuters cram themselves into local train station. South Bombay side jata na khub struggle asta. There are about 700,000 cars on the road. वर्ली से डेली गोरेगांव आने में काफी तकलीफ होती है द पोल्यूशन लेवल हैज राइज इन टू एन अलार्मिंग रेट आज मेरे को इधर से काफपरेड तक जाने के लिए मिनिमम तीन घंटा लगता है 3000 बसेस अंडरटेक 4.5 मिलियन जर्नीज पर डे वर्ली सिलिंग क्रॉस करने के बाद वेस्टर्न एक्सप्रेस हाईवे पे आते हैं तो ट्रैफिक मिलता ही है फॉर अ कॉमन मुंबई कर डेली ट्रैवल हैज बिकम अ चैलेंज गोरेगांव से कोलाबा जाने तक मेंटल और फिजिकल स्ट्रेस होता है बट दिस विल सून चेंज मुंबई मेट्रो कनेक्टिंग दी अनकनेक्टेड मुंबई द फाइनेंशियल कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया एंड होम टू बॉलीवुड is gearing up for a major urban public transportation project in the form of Mumbai Metro Line 3 this line is an important corridor of the 172 kilometers long Mumbai Metro master plan it is being executed by Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation which is a 50-50 joint venture between government of india and government of maharashtra This 33.5 km underground metro based on green initiatives is first of its kind in India as the entire corridor is underground. The corridor stretches from Kolaba to Seeps via BKC and passes through areas like Kaf Parade, Nariman Point, Worli, Siddhi Vinayak, Dharavi, BKC, airport which are not connected by any rail service. This is a crucial north south line which will benefit in reducing carbon emissions congestion on suburban lines bus system and also the road traffic there will be a reduction of 35% in overall traffic and nearly 4.5 lakh vehicle trips will be taken off the roads The line 3 of the metro will connect 11 major hospitals, 11 major educational institutes, religious sites, major economic hubs and 27 Mumbai hotspots. Kolaba will reappear on rail map after 86 years of its closure in Mumbai suburban. The station's locations of the corridor will allow commuters to conveniently interchange modes of transport. such as metro rail lines mono rail buses and railway systems within the city vidhan sabha metro station will provide connectivity to mantralay vidhan sabha and new administrative building for the first time in the history of mumbai two iconic heritage stations church gate and cstm will get interconnected by rails a boon for the mumbai public when operational Nearly 14 lakh commuters will use this metro while the number will go up to 17 lakh by 2030. The distance between Seeps to Kaf Parade will be covered in round 55 minutes. The total project cost is estimated to be 23136 crore rupees which is funded by JICA with 57.2% of soft loan and the remaining amount from government of india and government of maharashtra as equity and sub debt project is targeted to be operational by the year 2020 the objective of this corridor is to provide a rail based mrt system to people residing in areas presently not connected by the suburban rail system and to bring the metro system within reach of 500 meters to 1 km for the safety of residents and their property New Austrian tunneling method and tunnel boring machines will silently build the tunnels beneath the layers of the earth. NATM method causes least inconvenience to the public and involves tunnel construction using two simultaneous stages known as top heading and bench heading. In top heading excavation is done either by machines or other means The tunnel arch is supported by means of shotcrete, steel mesh and steel anchors as required. 
bench heading usually follows the advancing top heading at a distance of 80 to 120 meters. Side walls are supported by using shotcrete, steel mesh or anchors as required. Finally, with inner lining and electric works, the tunnel gets completed. The circular headed tunnel boring machine is used as an alternative to NATM. For line 3, TBMs will excavate tunnels at a depth of 20 to 30 meters and will pass through a variety of subterranean matter like hard rock, fractured rock or almost anything in between. As the TBM moves forward, the round cutter heads cut into the tunnel face and splits off large chunks of rock. The cutter head carves a smooth round hole through the rock, the exact shape of a tunnel. Conveyor belts carry the rock shavings through the TBM and out the back of the machine to a dumpster. Tunnel lining is the wall of the tunnel. It consists of precast concrete segments that form rings Muck from the tunnels will be disposed of out of the city. High pressure water jets for wheel washing of the trucks will prevent any deposit of mud and soil on public roads. MMRC is committed to safeguard all resident and heritage buildings on the corridor of Line 3. The corporation will deploy high-tech monitoring instruments that provide real-time information or pre-warnings for any structure building or utility within the excavation zone of the tunnel. There are lots of challenges in execution of civil works in Mumbai condition. Top layer of the soil is made up of uh, sand, clay and carries high water table. Down below is fractured to hard rock. We will deal with this situation using technology and heavy machinery. Only entry and exit points will be on the surface level and all 26 stations will be built below the ground using NATM and cut and cover method. In cut and cover method, initially retaining structures are installed. Thereafter, excavation is carried out in rock and rock anchors are installed. Platform slab is constructed followed by the concourse slab and finally roof slab. Finally, soil is backfilled into the station box. Proper barricading and steam decking will ensure smooth passage of traffic and cause least inconvenience to the people of the city. These stations will have mainly two levels. At concourse level, there will be ticketing counters and people would enter through automatic flap gates. Below it would be the platform level with walkways in between and trains moving on the two sides of the platform screen doors. The line is so planned that every person taking this line don't have to take an additional mode of transport either to reach their destinations or to arrive at the stations. For the convenience of passengers, stations will be air-conditioned, will have state-of-art lighting, LED-based display boards, announcement systems, centralized clock system, passenger information display and CCTV surveillance system. Lot of emphasis is being given on implementing green measures so as to make this metro as carbon neutral. Besides lifts and escalators to be provided, underground stations will also have all the advanced features to tackle any emergency situations. Automatic fare collection will ensure zero revenue loss and passengers will have the option of using contactless tokens and smart cards for their journey. Once the network is operational, nearly 35 air-conditioned trains of six coach cars will run with a peak frequency of 3 to 4 minutes from Kaf Parade to Bandra and 6 to 8 minutes from Bandra to Seeps. For the safety of the passengers, the metro system will have centralized automatic train control system consisting of automatic train operation, automatic train protection and automatic train signaling modules. We would like to give comfortable travel at an affordable price without sacrificing the safety which is very important in the uh, systems like metros and that too in an underground mode. The coaches will have green technologies like LED based smart lighting 
an improved regenerative braking system. Our zoning stock also will be uh, uh, having green features uh, that uh, they will be generating power while braking. And that power will be either consumed by the adjacent uh, trains in the systems or fed back to the systems. In case of an emergency, these standard gauge trains will have front emergency doors for the safer evacuation of the passengers. The trains will also have special seats reserved for the women, elderly and differently abled passengers. The key advantages of this project will be saving in travel time, reduction in pollution, decongestion of roads, comfortable journey in air-conditioned environment, no road stress, significant saving of energy. It will be our endeavour to complete this challenging project with least inconvenience to Mumbai public while ensuring the protection of heritage buildings. This green initiative of Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation will serve as a role model for urban transportation projects in India and revolutionize the way Mumbai travels. Metro line 3 आने से definitely Mumbai का life change हो जाएगा। हमें धक्का मुक्की और गर्मी से छुटकारा तो मिलेगा। Mumbai local train और बसों की गर्दी से तो बचेंगे। BKC जाने साथी हमारे का एकदम सोपा हाला है। ऐसा हमारा वेड़े ची बचत पन हुई। आने जी western express ला जो crowd है तेपन far कमी होने जाएगी। Now I can visit Marine Drive any day, any time with my family। अब हम कभी भी सिद्धि बिना एक आराम से जा सकते हैं। अपन खूब कमी वेड़ा में दे हम Mumbai से प्रवास करो शकना रहो।